Hey! So guys, for today's video, I wanted to create a really nice, easy, full glam makeup tutorial for those who have pale skin. Um, as of recently, <laughs> if you've been watching my tutorials, I have not been fake tan and I've been embracing my my true skin colour. So I just thought it'd be a good idea to do a full glam makeup tutorial that is just going to be really really easy and really flattering on those with pale skin like myself. I'm going to be keeping this tutorial at a drugstore as well and of course this tutorial is obviously going to look absolutely fantastic on anybody no matter what your skin tone. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm first off going to prime the skin. So I'm going to be using the Colourpop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic. Why can I never get this? The Hydrating Hyaluronic Acid Primer. <laughs> so if you are quite pale and you suffer from or wet, um, wetness. <laughs> So if you do suffer from a bit of redness within the skin, especially within the cheek area, it is pretty common whenever you are quite pale. I would notice that whenever I'm applying some my skincare or like now my primer, um, whenever I like overly touch my face, it does get quite red. You just want to find a primer with a green tint. Then the green is going to neutralize and counteract the redness. If you don't necessarily have any problems or issues with your skin but you just like a really nice moisturised base for and prep for a foundation, this is honestly such a fantastic, fantastic wee primer. This is my second time actually repurchasing this and it's so, so good. Like it doesn't necessarily blur the skin out or do anything in particular to your skin but it just leaves it so nice and dewy and moisturised. You can see like such a nice glow off my skin. But as a makeup prep and primer it is honestly, it's definitely one of my faves. It's it is so good. The foundation I've been using recently is the Illamasqua Skin Base in the shade SB06. Of course this tutorial is aimed at drugstore makeup so I know this isn't drugstore so I'm obviously not going to be using this today but I'm just keeping this out as a kind of as like a reference or preference or something. <laughs> Um, but I'm actually just keeping this out for the shade of it because this is the perfect shade for my skin tone. So when it comes to drugstore foundations in my collection, this is the lightest drugstore foundation I have in my collection. Isn't that shocking? Um, and it's in the shade Fair and it's the LA Girl HD Coverage Foundation. That is... That is ridiculous. Then of course I have the LA Girl Pro Color Foundation Mixing Pigment Drops. So I'm going to try and mix these two together to kind of get this shade. <laughs> so that's why I have this out. I was testing this a bit and it's a wee bit dark I think. So I just added in some more of the whitening stuff. These wee drops here honestly are so so good by the way. Or you could just get like a white foundation. I know LA Girl has like an up. An actual white foundation version whereas these are just like the white mixing pigments but they're honestly so so good especially are if you are somebody that your skin tone varies in color if you do wear fake tan and they're so so handy and they don't change or disrupt the formula of the foundation it just kind of keeps it the same it's they're so good they're just really really handy oh yes good match And I know this foundation does match me really, really well, but I still like to, I just literally just ripped my earring out. <laughs> but I still like to kind of put it over my ears a wee bit. Just in case there is still a wee bit of like a contrast there between like my neck and my ears and my face and whatever. Of course, whenever I'm putting foundation over my ears, I like to cover my earrings. <laughs> of course, around the neck. Get rid of that slag line. No one likes a slag line. So you just like to make sure you really blend that neck. <laughs> I feel like I'm <laughs> still trying to adjust to what I see in my viewfinder. I'm fine whenever I look in my mirror, but whenever I look in my viewfinder, I'm like, <sighs> who's the dead girl? <laughs> I'm just not used to being so pale. <laughs> Do you know what though? I forgot how amazing this foundation was. Like it's such a gorgeous foundation, the LA Girl, what is it, the Pro Coverage HD Foundation, absolutely gorgeous. Then for concealer, I'm going to be using the Barry M All Night Long Concealer, and I'm going to be using the shade Milk, yep, Milk. So yesterday was Valentine's Day, did everybody have a great Valentine's Day to just feel the love? I actually had a pretty good Valentine's Day, usually I'm like, <laughs> even though I do have a long term boyfriend, but no, I'm just like, go away. Roll on Pancake Tuesday. <laughs> you know what we did? 
we done that thing that I've seen everywhere on TikTok, you know, like the lockdown date night thing where you do like rock, paper, scissors thing. That kind of determines on where you go to eat. So we done like a rock, paper, scissors for starter, for main dessert, munchies, movie. So for starter, we went to McDonald's and got like wee cheese bites. For dessert, we went to Tim Hortons. So, and obviously I was up at Kyle's, so we had to go to, we had to drive literally the whole way to Cookstown to go to Tim Hortons to get donuts. First time I've actually tried their donuts and they were so, so good. Well, that's a lie, I tried one last week, but we got like a variety of their donuts. Next up, I'm just gonna do a wee bit of cream bronzing. Um, cream bronzing can be a wee bit scary if maybe you haven't necessarily tried it before and you are a wee bit pale, but honestly, have no fear. Makeup can cinch your fear, didn't you know that? I know they can look a wee bit scary, especially in the packaging of the pan, then whenever they're applied to the skin, but once they blend out, they blend out beautifully. That's obviously dependent on what brand you get. Every single brand of cream contour or bronzer I've got, I've never had any problems or any issues. They always blend out seamless and beautiful. This one I'm using here is the Soul Body Beauty bronzing balm from Colourpop. This wee one here, I'll link it down below of course, and this is the shade medium dark. So yeah, medium dark? <laughs> what was I playing at? So yeah, medium dark, of course they do have a load of lighter shades, so you can go and have a wee nosy and see what one might match you. And of course if you are a wee bit pale and you're really scared of bronzer or you're scared of warming up the skin, do one or the other. So if, for example, you could just do the cream bronzer and then you don't have to go on with a powder bronzer to maybe even further darken it up maybe or risk darken it up or you could skip this step and just go for your powder bronzer but I'm just going to show you just what I do. <laughs> um, so what I've been doing recently I'm just going to take my foundation brush and I'm not going to like rub I'm just going to literally just like quickly pat this in and you'll see how effortlessly this blends in, how quick it blends into the skin, and how gorgeous it is, and how on orange it is. <laughs> so, as you can see, obviously, like, as you can see, like, it honestly does look very, very dark and scary, a wee bit intimidating. This is how it blends out. It blends out amazing. Chef's kiss every single time, and it doesn't look too thick, too orange, too overdone. It just gives the skin such a natural bronzed look. <laughs> so, other ones that I have in my collection that, that I love and they're just as good, honest to goodness the Huda Beauty Tantor, the W7 Cream Bronzer, the Technic Cream Bronzer, even a wee foundation stick from Makeup Revolution, although a wee bit more pigmented because it's a foundation stick, a wee bit more full coverage, but honestly, because this is ColourPop, it's drugstore, it's affordable. Well, to me, ColourPop is affordable, it's drugstore prices. Um, try out that one first because you're not going to necessarily break the bank and one thing I love about the Soul Body from Colourpop is the fact that they have quite a lot of shades. If you are pale and you're maybe scared of some bronzers or you kind of struggle to find a powder bronzer to match your skin tone or you don't want anything that looks too muddy or too thick, try a cream bronzer honestly. You won't regret it. <laughs> I love my wee orange bits. See this? This is the worst thing about having blonde hair. But you've obviously seen how effortless that was just to blend out. And it doesn't look too overdone. It just looks so, so creamy and natural and buttery on the skin. It doesn't lift up the foundation. It just looks so, so perfect. And it doesn't leave my skin too bronzed and too warmed up as well, where you can see like a contrast between my face and my neck. It still looks like all the same one color, but I just have a nice bronzed glow or a nice natural contour in those areas. <laughs> it's just, it's amazing. It's just, I don't know what else to say really. I'm gonna do a wee bit of a Becca now and I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. Halo Glow setting powder. And I just use this wee sponge. And I set my skin with the Makeup Obsession Fresh Face Setting Spray and this is their Brightening Fixing Mist. Oh yes, I love that. 
I love the smell of this and I don't even know what it is. It says it's infused with vitamin C and ginseng. I wonder if it's the ginseng. It smells so, so good. Highlighter, obviously, whenever you have paler skin, it just kind of goes in your preference, but you obviously don't want to go for anything that, that is too dark or has maybe like a like a dark shift to it. Sometimes you maybe see or look at a highlighter, apply it to the skin and it will look really really nice from at the side but once you start to turn your head you can get this like wee shadow cast. I'm not too sure if you did notice that or not but sometimes I do notice it on myself if I am paler and I'm using my highlighters that I would use whenever I'm fake tanned or something. But at the minute the highlighter I have been using is the Dull Beauty Like a Diamond Highlight. So it's like a nice champagne -y colour but it has kind of like a silverish undertone. Or another alternative is my favourite highlighter of all time and it is the Colourpop Flexitarian Highlight. This highlight... <laughs> is absolutely amazing especially if you have pale skin my wee sister has very very pale skin i would even say she's actually paler than me can you imagine yeah, so whenever she is home from manchester this is the highlight that she will take from my room and use because it is absolutely perfect for pale skin i'll give it a wee swatch here because it is color pop it is really really affordable it's definitely more affordable than the doll beauty highlighter Dull Beauty wouldn't be considered drugstore, would it? Oh! Oh dear! <laughs> I might have to look for a drugstore highlight. I'm so sorry, guys. Um, do you know, I don't even know if I have one. Oh well. <laughs> but, whoa. So uh, that is Colourpop Flexitarian there. So I'll just swatch the two of these so you can actually see them like side by side because they are very, very similar. Yeah, only Colourpop Flexitarian is more intense. So just for shits and gigs, I'm going to go on with the Colourpop Flexitarian. I'm going to go on with a smaller brush as well to be a wee bit more precise and I'm going to be using the Morphe F510. And just focus it just right on the highest point of the cheekbone. Of course, this might be a wee bit too much highlight for some of you. There's no rules to make up. There's a theory, but there's no rules. Do what you want. Apply how much you want. Doesn't matter. I'm going to be using the Julie Beauty Second Skin Powder Blusher in the shade Flushed. So I just like to press that into the highlight. I'm going in with the MUA Bronzed Bronzer. This is such a fantastic wee bronzer. I love this bronzer so so much. It is so so good. So of course whenever you're pale and you're looking for a bronzer you really want to find a bronzer that is neutral. You're not wanting anything that's too cool toned and you're not wanting anything that's too warm toned. Anything too warm toned is going to be of course too warm. It's going to look too orange, too thick. It might look muddy and just just nasty on the skin. If you're going for something that's maybe too cool toned, it's not necessarily going to warm up your skin, but it's just going to provide a contour and a lot of shadow on your face. But if you're wanting something to contour and bronze, go for something neutral. And of course, if you're not wanting anything too orange, stick to something neutral. I love a neutral toned bronzer because I don't necessarily take the extra step to actually contour with like a cool toned powder. So if I go for say like a neutral bronzer, it's kind of like a two in one. It works both ways. I'm talking about this bronzer. I will link it down below for you guys, but it is absolutely amazing. It is so, so good. With the BMA, it's really, really affordable. I think it's three pounds. The palette I'm going to be taking is this wee palette from Colourpop, and it's the, I think it's pronounced Grand, Grandeur, 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 Grandeur. I've been obsessed with this palette. This palette is freaking beautiful freaking frickers it is beautiful i swear to god do you know what i was actually i was i was really bad the other day i don't i don't know what came over me <laughs> but i literally went on to ColourPop. and i spent nearly 300 dollars and then pounds that's not that bad it only came to like 200 pound only only um <laughs> i was just like i'm bored 
And I find like the only thing to keep me occupied these days is buying stuff, spending money and being like, okay, I can get through the next couple of weeks because I have a package coming. But I was actually going to buy another one of these. It's, oh my God. Do you know, I, I think I'll open it up and show you the inside, shall I? But it's just, it's, it's beautiful. It is absolutely gorgeous. This is obviously the grand, the grand one um there is other there is two other palettes like this with obviously different color schemes and color stories but kind of on the similar lines it's just it's absolutely gorgeous and like the package in itself beautiful and the quality absolutely amazing i'm gonna shut up talking now i'm, I'm just gonna get into it so the first shade i'm gonna be taking is this shade here velvet so it's just a really really nice transition shade and i'm gonna pop this within the crease. I do apologise but I don't really think you will mind that much but I'm not going to be doing anything too crazy on the eyes today but I'm still wanting to keep this quite glam so I'm just going to do a nice smoky eye with a wee bit of a uh, shimmer all over the lid and we'll maybe do like a bold lip or something. I don't know we'll see but I'm not going to be doing anything too too crazy because I obviously want to keep this quite nice and still wearable. But no, this this palette is just, it's been my go-to recently. I've been absolutely obsessed with it. It is so, so good. And if any of you haven't actually bought anything off Colourpop yet, you need to. What is stopping you? Seriously. Next up, I'm going to take Dusk. And I'm going to take this on a... F no. 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 Yes. No. Um, I'm going to take, no, Velvet. This is the one I took. I'm going to take this shade and I'm going to pop this all over the lid i so i think that's what i'm gonna do so yeah i'm still gonna be taking this shade here popping that all over the lid and making sure it's well blended up into the crease then i'm gonna go into this shade here i'm gonna pop that within the crease to deepen it up and also pack it onto the lid the reason i'm saying this now is because i'm going to tell you this wee story this is actually one of my most <laughs> um asked questions in my comment section i get it all the time and i've mentioned it before many and many times but i thought i may as well mention it again since i'm talking about ColourPop. i always get asked where and how i get ColourPop. obviously i'm from northern ireland so it's no issue for me to receive ColourPop. in terms of shipping the shipping um I think it's £10, but if you spend over a certain amount, you get it for free. And trust me, it's easy done whenever it comes to Colourpop because it's so affordable and their products are amazing and they just have such a variety of absolutely everything these days. So you honestly may as well like buy enough to get the free shipping. And then in terms of tax and customs, whenever you go to the checkout, you can just check out with PayPal. Do your PayPal situation, it will be converted into pounds and that is what you will pay. Yeah, customs and tax. That will also be added to your basket. So back in the day, about a year ago, it was that we had like a wee customs thing through the door and then we had to go online and pay it or how we had to go to the post office to pay it. That's not the case anymore. It's all added up on the Colourpop website. You pay it there and there and then within two weeks you get your package. I've never waited any longer than two weeks for my Colourpop package. It's honestly as easy as ordering chips. It honestly is. And it isn't much, by the way, like customs and tax. It obviously depends on like how much you order, the weight or something. I honestly don't know and I don't even really care. I really don't take much heed there. And I'm now putting that all over the lid. And obviously because it does get converted into pounds, it just means that everything's cheaper as well. This is $15, whereas we would get it for slightly cheaper. I'm not the best at maths, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Go back into the first shade that we took and I'm gonna run this just along my lower lash line. So as you can see, I've kind of winged it out the tiniest wee bit. So I'm gonna connect my lower lash line to out there. What the hell? Sorry, I'm just watching a bird eat a worm. A worm? A worm! <laughs> a worm! <laughs> I kind of started on my right eye, but 
I feel like going off camera and doing this eye while listening to music. Do you know who I'm obsessed with at the minute? Do you know what though? I've been obsessed with her for years at this point. Like I love her so much. Taylor Swift. <laughs> but um, Taylor Swift and Lana Del Rey. Absolutely love them too. Absolutely love them. But I have recently found a lot of new music from Taylor Swift. And I'm obsessed. One song I'm absolutely obsessed with at the minute is, is it X Exile? Yeah, Exile featuring Bon Iver. So good. I took this wee a Rimmel Soft Eyeliner. This one here, it's in the brown shade. And I'm just gonna pop this just to my waterline. I do apologize if this isn't drugstore or like a drugstore price, let's just say, but I did get this off Beauty Bay and it's, I don't know, I was just looking through my drawers there and it's been such a long time since I've used this and it's so, so beautiful. It's just a really, really nice new pigment and it's from Smolder Cosmetics. If I can find it, I will link it down below, but it's in the shade Cashmere, I think. Yeah, so it's just a loose glam dust. Because I have my foundation done, I'm just going to put like a wee cotton pad down here and I'm just going to press this on. So just taking a wee bit at a time and just patting that just all over the lid. And taking the crease brush that we were using. <laughs> Gonna give the crease just a wee, just a wee buff just in case there's like a build up of that pigment somewhere that I can't really see up close. For mascara, I'm going to be using the Colourpop BFF Volumizing Mascara. And then for my lashes, I'm kind of stuck between these two styles. They're both from Julie Beauty, by the way, these ones here. Um, I think I'm just going to use April. Let me see. Woo! They're just like a pretty average, normal looking lash. <laughs> Those wee lashes are glowing up at the minute, but I'm gonna get started on my lips while they're getting tacky. So I'm actually going to do a red lip with this look. I think it would look really, really glam, wouldn't it? Um, of course, <laughs> feel free to do a nude lip, but I do a nude lip like every single day. So I just kind of thought that this would be quite nice to do like a nice bright red with it. But of course, if you want to go for a nude, that's perfectly fine. But if you're wanting to go for a nude and you're maybe unsure of what kind of tone of nude you want to go for, if you have pale skin, in my opinion, now this is honestly just my opinion, can I go for a pinky nude that has a kind of like a pinky or peachy undertone? Because it just kind of means that like if you're going for like a nice pinky nude it's going to look like your lips only better I don't know it just obviously depends on your preference I know for myself I don't like a pinky nude so that just kind of shows you I'm just trying to give a wee bit of advice but obviously it does come down to your preference please excuse my lip liner I don't know what's going on here but for my lips I'm gonna be using the Colourpop lippy sticks and this is in the shade trust me and this is their matte x finish so it's just a matte, I'm guessing. <laughs> so let me see. Oh, that formula is really, really nice. Just guides on. What? I am obsessed with that formula. Why do I not use this more often? Like, don't get me wrong, it does transfer. Um, but the formula, oh my goodness. So basically, as you can see, it is matte and it does, does it feel matte? I don't know. But <laughs> looking at it, yeah, it's matte, but it's a creamy matte. It has a matte finish, but it's, it's just like a satin lipstick, like, like I'm still able to like move my lips. Oh, it's gorgeous. I love it. So it's in the shade Trust Me and it's their lippy sticks. Um, and I think these are, again, obviously because it's Colourpop, these are bound to be really, really affordable. I actually think they have a sale on their website at the minute, like President's Day or whatever that is. Well, the clue might be in the name. Is it something to do with their president? I don't know. Um, but yeah. So this might be on sale, so I'll obviously link it down below so you can go and have a nosy, but I'm obsessed. I'm definitely going to be actually using this more often actually because 
I love it. So guys, this is the end of the tutorial. This is basically my take on full glam and making it flattering for pale skin. Of course, as I said at the start of the video, this makeup tutorial is going to look great and so, so flattering on any skin tone. It's such a variety of skin tones. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. All the products will be listed and linked down below in the description box, along with my Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter. So don't forget to go and follow me on all of those. Again, thank you all so so much for watching hope you're all staying safe and well please be kind look after yourselves and each other and i shall see you hopefully in tomorrow's video <laughs>